host Wayne Williams, and I'm the founder of the Chosen Few DJs, and this is my road to the 2023 Chosen Few Picnic Festival. Well, once I changed from DJing, um, back then when I first started, I was DJing old school and funk and R&B. But once I started playing disco, um, once people caught on to it, I got you know, very popular real quick. And I was getting all these calls to do parties. And, uh, and so I couldn't, you know, I couldn't do them all. And I said, well, if I get, you know, um, if I have another DJ helping me or other DJs helping me, we can do more and more parties even on this, uh, you know, on the same day. And uh, so that was uh, one of the main reasons why I want to start a DJ crew. For me, you know, I've, I've always, you know, felt I have a great ear and, um, when it came to the DJs I selected, um, one, obviously they had to, you know, be great DJs and, and know music selection and, uh, and have a great skills. But the other thing was that they had to be positive guys. They had to be um, into it for the right reason, which is, um, and the only reason has always been about the dance floor and the people who come uh, to hear you play. Uh, and so all the DJs that I got and I picked, I picked very carefully and they all love the music and they love the people. And so that, for me, that was the biggest part of it. For one, um, DJing had progressed into um, producers, you know, DJing, producing and uh, and um, doing their own songs and things like that. And going forward, it w you had to be more than a DJ to like get gigs or be, to be recognized um, internationally. And so, um, fortunately, uh, in Chicago, there were two great DJs who were doing that and had a track record of doing that. Not only being great DJs, but being great producers as well and being well-rounded musically. Like they could do anything. Not only could they do house music, they could do hip hop, they could do R&B, they can do any genre they, you know, they want to. And so, uh, and these two producer DJs at the time were Mike Dunn and Terry Hunter. And so for me, I thought it would add to, to um, our crew and also push us forward going forward in the future. And uh, quite frankly, that's exactly what they did because uh, you know they have vision they have musical vision and but not only that they're humble and they're about the team and about helping each other which we're all about and that's why our brotherhood is so strong because we don't have that ego within ourselves we all feel that we're great but we also we also understand that our brothers are just as great so that's why our brotherhood has always been strong in my opinion Oh wow. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of people think it's just one or two people who make that decision. Uh, we, you know, we talk to everybody again. I mean, obviously we, you know, we choose DJs who we feel are great also and are very um, uh, um, great at their craft. And so uh, that's a part of it. Also that they have uh, some history, they put work in and um, you know, um, they, they, they put a lot of good work in. And uh, and once you put the work in, we're going to notice it, you know, because we work very hard at our craft. So we're going to, we definitely notice other DJs who do the same. You know, hey, how they rock the crowd, like how the people are feeling them, right? And, you know, for me, it's, it's for me, it's, it's obvious, right? If, if the people don't feel you, and, and I do believe that you have to lead the people musically as well, but you also, it's a give and take, you also have to give them some of what, you know, where they are, and, and you have to read your crowd, so I think that, um, but to just to ignore the people on the dance floor and do you, nah, uh, I'm not into DJs like that.
Anything that you like, you should have no problem paying for. Period. That, to me. If I like something, if I like to drink, I'm going to pay for my drink. If I like to eat, I'm going to pay for my food. If I want to go out to the club and hear a DJ I like, I don't mind paying for that. So I don't understand that, honestly. I don't understand that mindset. Well, my thoughts right now with my brother who, you know, unfortunately suffered a bad stroke and um, being the first DJ that I, I, you know, I brought into the, ch the chosen few um, and him getting healthy and the things we're going to do to and have been doing to help him with that process. Um, I'm, that's what's on my mind right now. Yeah, so when I think of the, the beginning of of the group, you know, Jesse, you know, who, by the way, did the first house record. Let me get that shit out of the way. Okay. Um, but not only that, um, he, he has so much history and, uh, and he's done so many things. And the fact that, um, you know, after Jesse, I got Tony and, and, and then Alan and then Andre and each year that I added DJs um, they all added to this house music genre that uh, we still have to this day and so whenever I'm with my brothers on that stage it makes me proud because they all individually have done their thing and have made an impact um, not only to the Chicago but to the world and so I'm very proud that I was at the beginning of that and I helped start that. And so that just makes me feel proud. So I'm very excited this year, 2023, July 8th. I'm so very excited. Um, we have some fantastic acts coming this year. Um, Dale Townsend, who, by the way, I did records with back in the day. The early, get the hoe, get the hoe. Watch out now. Get the hoe, get the hoe. And uh, and he's uh, he got a couple other jams he's going to perform. And the, and then, of course, the legendary Mr. B.B. Winans. Oh, my God. I mean, uh, he's just he's killing the game with his joints. And, uh, and I'm so excited about that. And I want to see everybody out there. Everybody out there. And I don't... Don't pay no attention to the rumors. We will have tickets for sale at the gate. If you hear some crap about, oh, it's sold out, I don't believe it. It's a big ass park, hello? So, no, there will be tickets at the gate. And we want everybody in Chicago to come, the north, west, south side of Chicago, Indiana, Wisconsin. We get people from all over the world come to this event. And, it's, and they all come in the spirit of love, harmony, and music. And so come in, come join us, and have fun. We have Tent Village, which is amazing. People bring their tents, their grills, so much fun. The music, the camaraderie, the people. It's a love affair. We call it the Love Fest, AKA the Love Fest. Come join us in Jackson Park, July 8th, Saturday, July 8th from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Let's go.